Today I want to begin a continuation of a conversation of what we have been talking about and uh, my topic for the next uh, several weeks will be focusing on what we can define as value-based leadership. Uh, I'll, I'll be talking about, this is in the general topic of how leadership is uh, important or how leadership matters. And uh, today I want us to focus on, on, a, on a scripture which I will be discussing uh, in the next, for the next uh, few conversations. And this is uh, uh, the book of 1 Timothy chapter number 6, verse 6 to 11. And I'm reading from the New International Version. The Bible says, but godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world, and we can take nothing out. But if we have food and clothing, we will be, uh, we will be content with that. Verse number nine. Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that purge the uh, people into ruin and destruction. Verse number 10, a very profound passage. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Some people eager for money have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. What, what a loaded passage of scripture. Godliness and contentment is great gain. We're talking about uh, godliness is a value. We, we define people to be godly because they express godly attributes in their behavior and conduct. And I want us to seriously discuss this because we are, about, we are about a season in our country when there will be a lot of politicking going on for people positioning themselves for the elections that are in, in 2022. But I want, you to, I want to ask you, a, and, and I want to give you a very clear direction, that when you consider somebody who you can call your candidate for any political position, let it be based on the value they stand for. When we think about what is going on in our country right now, uh, the degree of, uh, of moral uh, distress in other, you know, it's like uh, broken morality, uh, what we define as moral decadence, the degree of corruption, uh, the degree of uh, immorality, the degree of so many things that are very, very, very unfortunate. Those things are completely not what can be defined as godly. And that's why I say godliness is the value. But also in this passage it talks about contentment. Contentment is also a value. And what of God says so clearly that for we brought nothing yeah we brought nothing into the world and we can take nothing sometimes the way uh, people behave as uh, you know when it talks about material gain and uh, uh, position in terms of ranks it's like people behave as if they are immortal and, and that they're going to be forever or or that you know they, they don't understand that God is gracious to us because he is the one that gives us and preserves our lives. But we are given this life and, we, and, and so that we can be able to serve an agenda for the interest of the kingdom of God, especially those of us who are called to preach. But I believe even leaders in other forums, it's good to understand, you know, when you wake up in the morning, do you purpose that everything you do will be based on value. 
will be based on what can be seen as godly or something that would glorify God. This is a conversation we're going to be calling for quite a, quite a bit. And since this is just a, an introduction, a small caption, I want you to tune in in what will follow subsequently. But I want to remind you, each one of us, we, you know, we have a responsibility that is personal on cultivating our action based on godliness so that God will be glorified in our lives. And remember we say the word of God is the principal guide of our faith and practice. I want to pray for you. Father, we thank you for the conversation we have begun in this uh, segment of Leadership Matters to talk about uh, value-based leadership. Help us as we continue in Jesus' name. Amen.